Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. Today I was going to share with you guys another traditional origami. Today we're going to make a traditional origami dove. For this origami, you just need one piece of origami paper. I'm using a piece of paper that's 15 by 15 centimeters. What we want to do is starting off with the color side facing down. I'm just going to go ahead and fold my paper in half diagonally into a big triangle and open it up and fold it in half again. This will give us the creases that we need to make sure we know where the center of everything is. If we look at it this way, like a triangle, I'm gonna take this top layer and fold it out and back. And the ideal situation here is we're cutting this section into thirds. Um, so if I fold this over, you wanna have um, you know a nice equal amount of stuff that you see on this side versus the part that extends beyond the edge. And it's really hard to make sure you're doing this straight. So what you can do is sort of turn it over for a second and make sure that your crease that you have here is lined up with the crease on the other side. Smooth it out so that you get this nice little bit of triangle sticking out across the top. Then we're just going to fold everything in half. Now I'm gonna take one of these wings and fold it straight up, keep it even with the edge. You fold right up to the point where this head part sticks out. And when you do this, you should get a nice little triangle of white here on the other side. Turn it around, we'll do the same thing on the other side. So I've got my wings, my head, and my tail. For the head section, what I wanna do is let a beak come out. So if I kind of pinch up here by the neck area, I'm gonna let this part pop down and reverse this mountain crease into a valley crease. So I just pinch underneath, and then you can kind of choose the angle that you want your beak to come out at. If you want to have the head pointing down more or facing out, it's sort of just up to you guys what you think is a good base. But the point of where the crease begins is right where the wings meet at the back. So we get something like this. Now we're going to do a similar kind of fold for the tail. Just turn it over here for a second and pinch in the same kind of fashion right here. I want to create a crease that starts right here. So we're taking this mountain crease that you see right here and I'm going to push down on it and reverse it at the bottom so that I can make a valley crease. And we'll get that started down here at the bottom and make sure that this pops all the way to the back and then when we make this part come down, ideally I want the underside of this tail to come out even with this white line that you see here from the fold. So I'm just gonna kind of pull on it until it lines up so that it comes out right in even succession from there. We put a nice crease there and that should give you the finished uh, origami traditional dove. I'll have some more fun projects to share with you guys in the days to come. Thanks again always so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!